John we don't even want to talk about the first inning. It's been a difficult enough day. I'm sure for you for John Scherholz for John Coppola for Freddie Gonzalez take us through your thought process here the last 24 to 72 hours with regards to Freddie Gonzalez. Well listen I, I think uh, you know this has been uh, a, a very difficult day for all of us and uh, I think Freddie uh, you know we've talked about this before but you know we know that we didn't present a great ball club that shouldn't fall on the feet of Freddie. Um, I think as we looked at this we you know watched the second half of last year we saw spring training we saw what happened here the early part of the season felt we were a little bit better than what we were and uh, at the end of it we wanted to try to give our club here a better chance to compete and win and we felt this was the right move to make. John do you in your evaluations of this team being better than than what it's played are you revisiting that do you I mean <laughs> I'm serious I, yeah, I, I it's been tough and they're not playing well. No they're not and you know I, I think as we looked at it we realized you know this year going in that uh, we didn't spend a lot of money during the winter. Uh, this was a club that you know we looked at trying to offload a lot of money to get ourselves ready for 17. Uh, we tried to bottom fish a lot to try to get guys that we felt could help us. We were going to provide as much and still are going to provide as much opportunity for our young players as we can to get them some experience. Similar to what we did last year with a Whistler and a Fulte. Uh, you're seeing Aaron Blair go through some growth pains now. Um, but at the end of it we you know we did feel that uh, this club was going to be more competitive than what it showed. That's a term you've used a lot in your pregame interviews. You and Copy both said the same thing that this team has underachieved. These are veteran players in many cases. I think the Braves have the the fifth oldest team in Major League Baseball for the point you just mentioned. How do you get underachieving players to not underachieve at this stage in their careers and going through <laughs> a season like we're going through. Well listen as we all know we started out with a tough schedule and uh, I think looking at it we had some injuries early in uh, went out uh, Gordon Beckham some of the guys that we were counting on we haven't caught the ball you know very well at all you saw an example of that in the first inning you know here today um, we just didn't we haven't caught the ball well our bullpen hasn't been uh, what we thought it was going to be so you know it's been if you will the perfect storm and you know as I said this is uh, you know it, this was a tough call to make with Freddie it's not like we're putting it on Freddie you know if you're going to put on anybody put it on John Coppola John Hart and our staff as to you know what we did to try to provide something to bridge the gap uh, between 2016 and 2017. Well that's that's being very honest when you're accepting some of that for you guys yourself. Uh, what do you what do you hope that Brian Snitker can do with this same team that Freddie Gonzalez didn't. Well I, I think when you look at the start we had we're nine and twenty eight and uh, you know again this is one that uh, we looked at it over the last uh, two or three four days and uh, you know there was a lot of people on the on the Freddie watch we wanted to give Freddie every chance if we could to you know see if he could right the ship a little bit and uh, again we never you know looked at it as uh, you know we were providing him with a, a great ball club but you know at the same time we still took a look at it and felt that uh, it, when you're going this way that a new voice uh, is going to help um, I think at the same point we looked at it and looked at uh, 17 we kind of looked at that in the distance and um, you know we didn't feel that Freddie ultimately was going to be the guy that was going to be the guy for us in 17. Um, when I came here 18 months ago uh, we certainly had the opportunity to go get anybody we wanted to and I, I wanted to keep Freddie I wanted to have Freddie come in they had a very tough end of the year in 2014 and uh, I said I want to make sure that Freddie's here we uh, uh, we played very well the first half last year the first chance we had to do it I was extended Freddie and the staff and um, you know I, I think that we had a, a chance to really connect I spent a lot of time with Freddie we did everything we could. Uh, as a group as a team and um, became very close with Freddie it, something where you know as a manager general manager or manager front office that uh, if there was any disconnect there there wasn't and uh, just you know we just didn't we haven't provided uh, all the ammunition that he wants and uh, at the same point uh, we realized that Freddie wasn't going to be the go forward guy for us uh, that to me sounds like kind of the bottom line isn't it I mean if, if he's not going to be here in 17 then Let's let's make a change and see if we can uh, a different voice makes a, a difference. 
Yeah, I, 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 I think that was a part of it. Um, and you know, when you when you look at this thing, I, I don't have a crystal ball, but I, I know this that uh, my flow, my phone is blown up as you go along. People are going to look up and say they've got a farm system that is is getting fuller. Uh, this is going to a new ballpark. This is a club that's going to have a lot of money. We've offloaded a lot of dollars, and I think we're poised for a lot of good things. And uh, obviously, we're going to need to change the club and change the players. We're going to continue to try to get younger this year. But um, you know, I think that's something that we'll look at when we come to November. In the meantime, you know, we've got a, a season that we want to be respectable. We want to play well. Uh, nobody's happy with the way we're playing. And, uh, and I think Freddie was wearing this as well. It's uh, it's tough for a guy like Freddie to come in and you know make all this work. How much uh, did eating those contracts in spring training, uh, big contracts, Michael Bourne, uh, Nick Swisher, Nick Swisher, and even Bonifacio to a lesser extent, how much has that uh, crimped your ability to do things already this season? Well, I, I think that uh, again when we looked at you know the the, uh, the Swisher and Bourne deal was in effect for us to offload money for 17. We had Chris Johnson on the books. We didn't feel Chris Johnson was going to be there, and uh, so we made the money somewhat close during you know the 16 season. But obviously we were you know able to get rid of the 10 million dollars that he had there. So that was a part of it that we weren't going to be carrying that dollar there as we went forward so there was it was a little bit of a convoluted deal it absolutely hamstrung us for this year we knew going in um, I think the most money we spent on a free agent this year was two point five million we didn't fish in the free agent waters and uh, so I, I think that uh, that pick, that particular piece certainly hurt our ability to go out we also felt we were going to uh, spend some money in the international uh, waters and uh, Latin America come J2 that was a part of uh, our decision uh, that we want to do and to keep uh, building it from the bottom up. Two outs for Daniel Castro. No balls, two strikes. We're visiting with John Hart. John, can you stick around for another half inning? Sure. Thank you very much. Four strikeouts for Nicasio. Pirates coming up again in a second.